Oh yeah, hey guys. So I figured out what was uh, causing our problems is if we look at both of the, our objects now, they are both the same mass, and that means that the gravitational pull between them is not going to be enough to overcome the initial force that we've added to the the object. So what we want to do, since our Earth is bigger and we want it to uh, have a much stronger gravitational pull on our moon than the moon has on our Earth, we want to change our Earth's mass to, let's say, 7. I'm still figuring out exactly the, the ratio of mass and unity to real world mass. Haven't quite figured it out yet, but I think 7 is going to give us a good approximation for what we want, at least. So yeah, it now goes starts to go out and hits the earth and starts rolling around it which is not necessarily not necessarily what we want to happen but we'll fix that in just a second but let's drag it out and take a look right here now a little bit farther out it's gonna get pulled back and now do a rotate around which is cool okay so last thing now Actually, before we go on, I do want to show you guys. This now allows us to have control copy, control paste, multiple moons in this area, and they will all be affected by our gravity scripting. So we can just copy these around, and if we run it, our moons now all calculate gravity, and they actual they actually. Uh, affect each other gravitationally so you can see they're kind of lumping together out there before they come back towards the earth which is pretty cool but uh, as you guys can tell that doesn't look all that realistic when they hit we kind of want to like maybe have an explosion have them uh, have them disappear you know because just rolling around on top of the surface is not necessarily uh, looking all that great so let's open back up our orbiting uh, here we go and what we're gonna want to do is now destroy it when it uh, collides with something so when one of our orbiting objects collides with something we're just gonna go ahead and destroy it so first things first what we're gonna do is uh, come in here when we destroy it it's going to get rid of that object that's in the array so what we want to do is also put in a just a little catch statement just in case so we don't want to be calling scripts on an object that is null so you want to double check and make sure all the objects that we're doing from here are real objects that haven't been destroyed so we just do a quick if bot is not equal to null should work out uh, there we go okay once that's done what we're gonna want to do now is come down here and do a new function called void on collision Make sure you we spell collision right. Sorry. Collision. Enter. And we'll just do collision. And then lowercase collision. And inside this, what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate a, a particle effect, which will be our explosion. Instantiate. We're going to call this boom, comma, we're going to do game. Object dot transform dot 
position. And then we'll copy this. Game object dot transform rotation. Okay. So what this does is when we, it collides with something, we oh we need to go up here and actually create a transform. So hang on just a second. We're gonna do a oops, public transform. We can just call this boom like we called it down there. And then once it uh, creates our our particle effect, we are going to destroy our game object that the uh, that the script is attached to. Destroy, and then just game object, comma. So if we save this. And now we need to look at our moon. moon. And I spelled destroy wrong. Whoops. Okay. Save. Hang on a second. Let's see what we else we did wrong. Uh, I think this needs to be a lowercase game object. There we go. Well, let's just check. Oh, wait. First, we need to find orbit. Okay, so we've got boom here. I've already created a particle effect for this. I'm not going to necessarily go into how to create particle effects in this tutorial. Just uh, you guys can look that up, and all you got to do is once you have the par particle effect that you want. Um, you drag, you make a prefab of it, and you drag it into the boom transform. So if we move this right about here, we should be able to see if this works now. Um, hang on. <laughs> Let's move it down since we've got a upward velocity on this as well. Boom, there we go. Nice. And now to make it even more spectacular, let's copy and paste this a few times. Paste. Uh, oh, control, copy, control, paste. There we go. Just hitting shift instead of control. Control, copy, control, paste. Boom, boom, boom. Control, copy, control, paste. This might crash the video capturing software, but we shall see. So we've got all these guys coming in and boom, boom. And, and these might just get into an orbiting pattern. But as you guys can see, this uh, we have a lot created a, a default structure to allow multiple orbiting objects and we have also create collision between the objects and I think this is a good place to stop um, I will be continuing with these tutorials I uh, hope you guys uh, tune in have a nice day